Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to my panel 1 Dr. Iza Sazanita and panel 2 Dr. Zuraida Muhammad. I am Muzaffar bin Ahmad and today I will be presenting my final year project 1 entitled Characterizing Local Handcrafted Feature Descriptor for Sketch Based Image Retrieval. So we move to the introduction. Based on the title, Characterizing Local Handcrafted Feature Descriptor for, for Sketch-Based Image Retrieval, uh, we know that uh, this study will only focus on the uh, how we compare the best local handcrafted feature uh, and see the matching accuracy. So, refer to the researchers Previous Analysis and Investigation SBIR or Sketch-Based Image Retrieval is used to match the dataset of images with some hand sketch picture. So basically the SBIR or Sketch-Based Image Retrieval is a system that we match a dataset of images with a sketch input picture so that we have to sketch the uh, object that we want and the system will extract the feature from the descriptor that we use and detect what object that we sketched earlier so the idea used in this project is same but only varies on the descriptor use so means that we are not doing the sketch based image retrieval project uh, we are only use uh, we are only do the uh, comparing or analyzing different type of descriptor used in this project and how the extraction accuracy differ so we will compare the result between local descriptor and the global descriptor and then we will de determine which descriptor is the best so for local descriptor uh, my part I do the local descriptor I will do all the uh, type of local descriptor that uh, widely been used in this world and then I will compare which one among the local descriptor is the best so that from the best descriptor I will compare the uh, result with the global descriptor that uh, other, other students make. So, unlike the CBIR content based image retrieval, which match, which match from images to images, SBIR must match the sketches to images. Okay, uh, CBIR basically is uh, more likely like SBIR. Uh, only that uh, CBIR is we put the image uh, for example we put some flower image to produce the result of other uh, other flower image uh, with a different angle like SBIR we sketch the flower image and the result will appear that the light what we sketched earlier it is quite challenging because the only input is coming from the freehand sketch. As we can know, free, freehand sketch can be more difficult to detect since the key point will be different. So, we move to the objective. The objective of this project is first to, to study the effectiveness of local handcrafted descriptor for the sketch based image retrieval. Second, to compare the sketch based image retrieval descriptor among local and global handcrafted. And the third one, to determine the matching accuracy by using the local handcrafted descriptor. So, for the literature review, we go through the sketch based image retrieval explanation. So, for the image retriever there are few types of image retriever the first one is text based image retriever which, which is we commonly use like uh, google image where we put the name of the object that we want to search and the result will be like uh, what what uh, object that we search uh, see co content based image retrieval cbir that uh, like we like i explained just now 
we put image to detect the image and the third one is cache based image retrieval that we are currently be used so basically image retrieval is a system for, for searching or retrieving photos from a big data set of images so there are a few steps in SBI up system the first one the system should recognize the input sketch and then the system should find all similar sketch content from the database so the firstly we put the input, input sketches uh, uh, what we sketch to find the picture and then the system will find all similar uh, criteria or attribute uh, from the dataset image and then the system should have categorized or rank up all the images from the dataset from the most similar to the least similar uh, after finding all the uh, content in the database or dataset the system should rank all the pictures accordingly from the most similar to the least similar so that uh, we know that the most top is the most similar and then lastly the system will retrieve the image from the data database based on the rank order so this is according to the condition that we set uh, mostly we set uh, until one until 10 so the top 10 image will be the most similar result with the hence cache input so for so for the data set an image database is a system with a large amount of pictorial information being stored in an integrated manner the image database consists of thousands of categories that divided that each the each picture each of picture with their type so inside the one of the data set or any data set there are a few categories and type of object that has been divided so that we can choose which uh, object that we want to try the SBIR so for example Caltech 101 that consists 800 image from 29 categories uh, sketchy data set 75 sketches of 125 different object the TU Berlin data set that contain 20,000 sketch data set and lastly the Flickr 15k which contain the 15,000 photograph image from the Flickr so combining or merging the data set is also a good idea to make sure the matching algorithm work precisely so for the data set we can choose whether we want to use uh, one by one or we can combine the content of the images uh, together by combining the content it will um, what do we call it can detect more pictures with more precise uh, accuracy more matching accuracy so for the descriptor there is two types of descriptor that are being used widely which is the local and the global descriptor so this project uses the local descriptor we will focus on the uh, local handcrafted descriptor basically descriptor is used to describe the input images in order to detect the object so uh, there are a few types of uh, descriptor inside the local descriptor so uh, every type of descriptor have their own method so uh, based on the method we can tell that uh, how the descriptor extract and detect the object of the images that we sketch so basically the local descriptor mostly of the local descriptor used to detect key point from the images unlike the global descriptor that detect the images the shape image of the image so it will be more accurate by using the local descriptor this is the type uh, a few type of the local descriptor
the first one is scale invariant feature transform shift and the second one is speeded up robust feature serve so these two is licensed by the usa government so if you want to use it commercialized we have to pay the license uh, yearly or that we will be uh, we can be sued because use the descriptor but for academic purpose it is still okay and then we have fast retina key point free uh, local binary pattern lbp and oriented fast and rotated brief op this is uh, the type of global descriptor uh, the first one is histogram of oriented gradient hog hog and then co-occurrence of uh, histogram of oriented gradient cohog gradient field histogram of oriented gradient gf hog and lastly segmental histogram of oriented gradient s hog so we went to uh, research methodology this is the design block diagram that uh, explain how the system flow so the first one we put the sketch and the sketch will go uh, straightly to the feature extraction where the uh, what we call where the descriptor uh, is placed yeah and then uh, from the data set descriptor will make some edge detection from before it process with the sketch image that we put just now after the extraction of the descriptor uh, we uh, the system will detect the similarity uh, whether the picture is similar from what we sketch or not and then after that it will categorizing or rank up the images from the most similar to the least similar and then the retrieval result the system will retrieve the result that uh, from the most similar uh, object and sketches descriptor algorithm uh, for example we use the algorithm for sift the scale invariant feature transform so the gradient for x and y direction must be calculated by referring the difference between 56 and 46 uh, as you can see as you can see at the picture 55 55 and 46 is at the x uh, axis and 56 and 42 for y direction so 56 and 42 at y direction okay so the gx or the gradient x is equal to 9 uh, and gy 56 to n 42 is equal to 14 so to calculate the magnitude we can use this formula uh, which is uh, gx square plus gy square and we root it square root it so 9 square plus 14 square the square root of 9 square plus 14 square will come up with 16.4 that is the magnitude and then we continue with uh, calculating the angle using the r10 uh, gy over gx which is equal to r10 1.55 we can get the value La for 57.17 degree so the magnitude represents the intensity of the pixel and the orientation or the angle gives the direction of the picture so this is the research design flow chart <laughs> so we start it with uh, search and find local descriptor and image data set and then after finding it we go through to design the structure of sbir program in python using spider in this case in this study we are we, we are using python uh, inside the spider one of the anaconda uh, 
compiler and then after this uh, designing the structure we implement the design in python using spider so we run whether the descriptor coding is work or not after that we verify the functionality if yes we go through the next step and if no we we will design back the structure of the program so after the functionality is okay we go through to check the similarity of uh, matching item and then we finalize the result and tabulate all the data that we compare amongst the local descriptor so this is the expected and preliminary result that obtained from this FYP1 <coughs> the first one I use is surf feature descriptor so for the, the surf feature descriptor I use the handbag images so from the result you can see that uh, it detects from the sketch image to the real object image so the line is the key point detected and it match where how and where the uh, the shape key point uh, detected uh, in this case because we use the sketch base like I said the accuracy ma uh, matching accuracy will be much lower than the content base uh, you can look at the uh, key point detected it will it, it shows the, uh, the wrong uh, accuracy but it is okay as long as the matching can detect the real object the self uh, descriptor is uh, doing their work so based on the table the key point one which is from the real object image uh, from uh, from a few key point that can be detected uh, so the detected key point is only 139 and from key point 2 which is from the sketch image the detected key point is 310 but from the total value the matches is only 96 matches uh, from both key point uh, that is for the sub feature descriptor so for C feature descriptor it is same with self but uh, the first key point which is from the uh, real shoe object uh, object image the detected key point is 140 and from the 13 uh, and from the key point 2 from the sketch image the detected key point is 13 uh, but from 140 and 13 detected key points only 9 key points are matched accordingly so C feature descriptor is um, lower efficiency than the surf and lastly I use the op feature descriptor as we can see I use the chair image from the real chair image key point ones the detected key point is 500 and from the sketch image the detected key point is 420 so both images produce a good and high key point so that means there are more possibility that the accuracy is higher so from 520 key points the matches list is 200 so it is a good uh, matching accuracy and number so we can tell that the op feature descriptor is better than sif and surf so the conclusion is uh, this study was undertaken to characterize the local handcrafted feature descriptor for sketch based image retrieval in other words this study will determine the effectiveness and matching accuracy of the local descriptor so from there the best descriptor will be find out in order to give the best result for SBIR system since this study is 
to determine the system accuracy with local descriptor there will be no manual sketch input will be used so uh, sketch input are uh, already uh, taken from the data set that we downloaded so since we are not doing the SBIR project we can uh, sketch it manually but instead we use the uh, sketch picture that already been prepared inside the database all data set and all data set of sketches and images are already prepared by similar study of global universities so we can download it inside uh, certain website or the data set the data set website which is the kegel.com uh, and finally hope that the findings in this study will give some benefit toward improvement of SBIR development in future so that is all from me uh, thank you